Hello everybody, Matthew Armstrong here on day 27 of our 100 day challenge to create financial freedom. I have to say I'm pretty tired, maybe you can see it, I'm, I'm pretty tired at the minute. I've had a long, long day, I spent a long time out in the hot sun today. Um, I cleaned the pool today, I really needed it, as in the baking hot sun, the sun was reflecting off the water. And then I went and worked on our allotment, um, digging, just digging mounds of dirt up. And uh, so my hands are red and worn from doing that and I'm tired and it's quite late in the evening and I had a lot of other things to do so we're doing this video anyway, right? And that's the, uh, that's the difference between those people in the world that achieve great success in whatever it is they do whether it is in business, whether it is as an athlete, whether it is as a as a been, been a great parent, or whatever it is, it, if you want great success at it, you have to be able to do the things you know you need to do, even when you don't feel like doing them. Right? That's the difference. Because sometimes all of us, sometimes we're all motivated. At times everyone has been motivated. Even people who are quote unquote lazy. At times they're full of energy, motivated, yeah, 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 let's do this, 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 but then it kind of wanes and it goes away. And then when they're not feeling so good, you know, they've had a challenging day, some obstacles, a little bit tired, not enough sleep, then they don't bother or take a day off or whatever. And that's the difference. That's the difference between the, the, the employee who needs the outside motivation of if they don't turn up for work, you know, they, they get fired basically. Or, you know, they, they, get, uh, they don't get paid at the end of the week or whatever. And they, they know they have to do it. They have outside motivation. They have a manager or a boss telling them to do it. Um, but being, you know, an entrepreneur, and having to do things for yourself, having to take that responsibility, you have to be able to do things when you don't feel like doing them, you know. And like I said, it's, it's not just being an entrepreneur, it's success in anything in life. You have to be able to, like I said, do things when you don't feel like doing them. When you're tired, when the odds are against you, when your body says no. And you know, if, if you're an athlete, you know this, you know. When you hit that barrier, running in like an ultra distance race or marathon or something, you hit that barrier, the body just goes, no, that's it. And you just got to override that and go, I'm just going to do it anyway. I'm just going to keep going anyway. And it's creating that, that, that warrior spirit, you know, from, from in here, that archetypal warrior that we have in, in our psyches. And it's, uh, it's evoking that and bringing that out. And when you start to do that, then you change your state and the tiredness starts to go. And then you start to feel focused. And you start to get on point with what you know you need to do. So, I read a quote earlier on about, about failure. And uh, a lot of people, they, they, they stop doing things because they fail, you know. And uh, I, I've got a different point of view on failure than, than many, many, than many, many people. I'm tired. I, um, Failure should be our teacher, not our undertaker. Failure is delay, not defeat. It is a temporary detour, not a dead end. Failure is something we can avoid by saying nothing, doing nothing, and being nothing. And it was Dennis Waitley that said that. And when I read that, that rang true for me, you know, that rang true. Um, you know, but when you know, the same thing, God's delays are not God's denials, right? So, whenever you're experiencing failure in whatever, it's, uh, it's not that you're being denied something. This might be a delay. So you've you got to keep going. You've got to keep going. You've got to do things even when you don't feel like doing them. You've got to be consistent. It's these things that create the success in your life, whatever you do. Whatever you're going to do. Whatever you want to be successful at. You know, you've got to be consistent at it. You look at any major athlete, you know, the swimmers, the tennis players, Wimbledon's on at the minute. 
you know, getting up every morning at five, four, whatever it is, and swimming for three hours before they go to school every single day, these kids growing up. You know, but then they reap the rewards, they get the rewards from it, you know. So whatever you want to do, you've got to do more than what is expected of you. You've got to go beyond what mosquito. What any what anybody else expects of you, you gotta go beyond that. You gotta go beyond what your previous expectations of yourself are or were. You gotta let go of that. Go beyond. Go beyond. And you'll break through. You'll break through to new levels. New levels of being, new levels of understanding. Like I said, any athlete knows this who has broken through their previous barriers, achieving a new level of fitness, a new level of lung capacity. Awesome feeling. You know it if, you've, if you're an entrepreneur and you've, you've broken through a, an income barrier that you've had for so long, you've been bouncing off and you break through. You know, by being consistent, you be consistent by doing the things even when you don't feel like doing them. Go back to that. Do the things even when you don't feel like doing them. Especially, you know, when we when we when we experience failure like a number of times, then we don't really don't feel like doing them. But if but if you remember that quote from Dennis Waitley, you know that's powerful. And just realize that failure is our teacher, right? Not our undertaker. You know, it's just a temporary detour. Remember that, and uh, and just keep going. That's that's the thing. It's the basic rule of success, the most simplified down to one thing, is to keep going. Keep going no matter what. Keep going even when you feel that defeat. Keep going. Because soon enough you'll get momentum again. You know, you've got to bring out that warrior spirit. No matter who you are, male or female, you have a warrior within you. Bring out that warrior. Take the action you know you need to take and be consistent with it. Am I repeating myself? Be consistent, be consistent, be consistent, because you've got to be consistent. And sometimes your know, repetition really gets it in there. They say repetition is the mother of all skill. So be consistent. And just like I'm being consistent with these videos, even though I, uh, I'm so tired, you know, so, so tired. It's quite late in the evening. Um, I had a long, long day. But I know, I know what makes a success and someone who only achieves mediocrity. I know the difference. The person who achieves mediocrity or the person is the person who, who, who gives in, who gives in to the tiredness, who, who just goes, ah, oh, you know, it's, it's, it's okay, I'll pick up on that again next week or something, next month, next year or whatever. You know, when, when, you know, when my injury clears up or when I get this stuff out of my life, it's never gonna happen. You just gotta do it now. You just gotta slap yourself in the face, maybe metaphorically, and uh, just go ahead and do what you know you need to do. Stop messing around. All right, we're all grown ups here. We're all mature. Stop being immature. Make a decision. And I don't mean to sound condescending by saying stop being immature, but seriously. Tell yourself that, stop being immature, because I tell myself that sometimes. When I'm being immature, I say, hey, hold on a minute. Stop being immature. Grow up. Start doing what you know you need to do. And you know whatever that is for you. Go ahead and do it. That's it for me. I'm going to bed. Good night.